ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. From the CBS 19 Newsroom, I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Justin Early. Despite the government shutdown, the Affordable Health Care Act kicks in today. You can start shopping for an insurance plan that works for you or expect to pay fines starting next year. What these Texans need to know tonight. Smith County commissioners voted unanimously today to approve funding for the Northeast Texas Public Health District. The vote comes a week after the court failed to approve funding, citing complaints regarding overly strict food inspectors. Commissioners and NetHealth discussed orientations for out-of-town food vendors so they understand the expectations in Smith County. Carrollton police believe a disoriented grandfather and his two grandchildren might be in Chicago because his debit card was used there today. They say 57-year-old William Gomez took 7-year-old Marcus Gomez and 8-year-old Dominique from his home Sunday. William Gomez suffers memory loss. Investigators are trying to pinpoint their exact location and get them home. Today, Tyler firefighters are asking everyone to wear pink. Turn Tyler Pink is all about increasing breast cancer awareness and raising money for research. The fifth annual Turn Tyler Pink event is in downtown Tyler tonight from 5 to 7, and the public is invited. The city of Kilgore will host its annual Kilgore Night Out to promote crime prevention and donate to the city's food bank, Helping Hands. Kilgore's Night Out happens tonight from 6 until 8. Eight neighborhood block parties will be held this evening, and Kilgore police and firefighters will be there, too, to discuss any neighborhood concerns tonight. Join us for all that plus weather and sports tonight on KYTX CBS 19 News at 5 and 6.